Namaste. I am Jayan Tanama, Assistant Professor in Jayoti Vidyapeet Women's University. Today we will discuss about a topic from Applied Mechanics, which is the Alumbert Principle. It, it states that if a rigid body is acting upon a system, upon by a system forces, this system may be reduced to a single resultant force whose magnitude, direction, and the line of action may be found out by the method of graphic statics. Uh, according to this state, there is a, a mathematical term which is P equals to MA. M is the mass of body, A is the acceleration of body. This equation is known as equation of uh, dynamic where uh, equation of dynamic, okay. The, this equation may be uh, written as P minus MA equals to zero. This equation is known as the Lambert principle equation which is uh, which is a uh, dynamic equation equilibrium under the action of real force the next point is recoil of gun according to newton's third law motion when a bullet is fired from a gun the opposite reaction of bullet is known as recoil of gun let m equals to mass of gun v equals to velocity of gun with which is it recalls m is small m equals to mass of bullet and small v equals to velocity of bullet after explosion. So according to momentum of bullet after the explosion is a small mv and uh, momentum of gun is capital MB. So according to this uh, law, the equation one is equals to equation two. So capital MV equals to small mv. This relation is properly known as law of conservation of momentum. Next point is motion of boat. We see that boat boy always pushes the water back with the help of sticks, which in turn sets of boat in motion. It has also been experienced that if the boat is at rest and the boat boys run on it and dives off into the water, the boy boat will also move backward. The movement of boat may be easily found out by application of Newton's third law of motion that is by equating the momentum of body of body momentum of boat boy and the boat now consider let boat and now consider a boat which a on which a boat boy runs and then dives off into water the m is let m equals to mass of boat boat v equals to velocity of boat small m equals to mass of boat boy and v small v equals to velocity of boat boy so uh, momentum of boat after boy jump is capital mv and momentum of boat boy is small mv uh, which is um, equation one is equation two which is uh, capital mv equals to small mv now the next point is motion on inclined planes. In the previous articles, we have been discussing the motion of bodies on level surface. But sometimes the motion of body takes place down or up an inclined plane. So let m equals to mass of body. Alpha is the inclination of plane. We know the normal re uh, reaction on the inclined plane due to mass of body equals to r equals to mg cos alpha. This component is responsible for the force of friction experienced by the body such that f equals to mu r. We also know that the component of the force along the inclined plane due to mass of body is mg sine alpha. This component is responsible for sliding the body upward or uh, moving the body upward. Now we can find out any detail of motion by subtracting the force of friction due to normal reaction from the component along the inclined surface which is mg sine alpha. So these are some points uh, uh, based on the motion of a body uh, motion uh, uh, based on the Newton's law of motion. So I hope you don't have any query in the session, but if you have, then please mention it in a comment box. I'll resolve it. This session is powered by Digital Version 2.0, Jyoti Vidyapit Women's University. Thank you.